Hello, so in this one I'm gonna switch to Frost Strike, but for now I was still doing Piercing Arrow and still running through the acts. Piercing Arrow was really good. It had enough damage, it had enough map clearing, and when I added Shadow Archer, I got so much more single target damage. However, I wanted to test Cross Lightning Arrow, and what I wanted to test if uh, Shadow procs the Cross Lightning basically, because it has two parts. Every time you crit with Cross Lightning Arrow, it procs like area effect and does more damage than the Cross Lightning Arrow itself. And that was a good testing. And I can tell you that right now that it works. Whenever you crit with your with Cross Lightning Arrow and Shadow Watcher, you do four hits. But even with that, it's still not enough to be a really good seasonal build. I understand that people do can do this in standard, but when you look it through the lens of playing in seasons, you need much more damage. But yeah, I still finish Act 13 with Cross Lightning Arrow. And after that, I picked up all of my Charm Upgrade slots. My charms were actually good, and my Chaos Star is good. The only problem is that it's a Hamal. And I was not benefiting at all from Hamal charms, from the Blessing itself. From Hamal Blessing, however, my channels were decent and I got plenty of stats from those. I did all of the charm blessings in order to do Cursed Prisons. Even though Cursed Prison is a low, low level map, it still requires quite a bit of damage and quite a bit of clear. And that was the only way I could think of on how to do those. I hit level 85, I could have hidden more levels, but I wanted to start working towards my specialization quests as those are probably the most important stuff, especially early into the season or on a new character. I didn't waste too much time, I did quite a bit of those and I hit level 90. And level 90 is basically my breakpoint for switching to Frost Strike as all of my Frost, Frost Strike runes were level 45s and all, those can only be equipped at level 90. So I had no choice and I had a lot of fun doing Frost Lightning Arrow. It's not too crazy good, but for acts, it's okay-ish. Before switching to Frost Strike, I did test in the training arena. It's on 100 level dummy. I only had around 60 mil damage. Which was enough to do the 120 maps or 125 maps. Not too crazy, but okay-ish. After that, I just picked up my Frost Strike build, picked up everything I could, everything I could equip. I was thinking what was my last link, and then I remember, of course it's quick attack. I didn't have too much attack speed, and it was a good choice. I reworked my Zodiac points. I went for default stuff, I, I think I have this in the guide. And I'm doing a elemental build, I didn't went for physical. I did physical build in season 4, so I wanted something new, something just a little bit different. I crafted a TF-84 weapon that was actually after a few maps, but what I want to show that I only got gear critical rate, attack damage and speed prefix, that's all I needed for this build, it was enough to push my DPS a little bit higher. This is done on level 130. And it was done before entering the map, so I was level level 90 exactly. And at this time, I had around 250 mil damage, which is crazy compared to Cross Lightning Arrow. That's how good Frost Strike is. Good, I would say it's broken, brokenly good. I went to do a few maps. I actually managed to hit level 100 on this day. And I think this is a time for some advice. As I said, I'm gonna do some advices. But this is more like a bug. So basically this was my level 100 map. I did a legendary map. And as you can see, I'm running like 98% XP to my next level. And after I kill a boss, I'm actually gonna get 3 extra rune mastery levels. Because I managed to get like 76% rune mastery XP from this. And the reason is really simple. When you clear the map at level 99 and you are really close to leveling, that bonus character XP from the map that you get for completion actually counted towards the Rune Master XP, but it only works one time when you level up from 99 to 100. I mean, it's a funny thing. You're not going to be able to benefit many times from it, 
but I thought it's it's an interesting one. It's not the one that you can do all the time, but it's at least an interesting one. But yeah, GG's is everything I want to show for this one. I'm still grinding on this build. I'm streaming on YouTube, on Twitch. If you want to see what I'm doing, join. And yeah, see you in the next one.